Do Muslims and Christians worship the same deity? Um, I believe that first, um, when looking at this particular question, there has to be an understanding that amongst the Christians there are several sects, or what is normally referred to in this society as denominations. And a lot of these denominations, when it comes to their deity, they may hold different beliefs and, and or understandings. One of the more popular understandings and or beliefs is that the deity to whom which they worship is one that has three distinct personalities that make up one Godhead. And depending on who you talk to from amongst them, they may use different um, different expressions to, to explain the intent of this. Some may say three persons in one. And when you see one person, you see all three because they're one and the same and inseparable. Or three spirits. Whatever the case may be, they're referring to a deity that has three distinct they're referring to three distinct entities that make up one. For the Muslims, this particular understanding falls into one of two categories. Either one, it is a figment of their imagination and something that they have made up for themselves and have, deif and have deified. Or two, somehow they're referring to the Lord of all that exists, uh, the creator of the heavens and the earth. And if so, then they have attributed to the Creator a tremendous lie. A tremendous lie. Our Lord, or the Lord of all that exists, He teaches us in the, in the last revelation that He revealed from above the seven heavens, yani the Qur'an. He states, لَقَدْ كَفَرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ ثَالِثٌ ثَلَاثَةٍ وَمَا مِنْ إِلَٰهٍ إِلَّا إِلَٰهٌ وَاحِدٌ He states that undoubtedly they have disbelieved those that say that Allah is the third of three. That Allah is the third of three. And you do not have any deity except one deity. Except one deity. وَإِن لَمْ يَنْتَهُوا عَمَّا يَقُولُونَ and if they do not cease what it is that they say, yani attributing three personalities to the Lord of all that exists, then he will touch them or inflict them, those that disbelieve from them, because those that disbelieve are those that make the statement, he will inflict them with a severe punishment. He will inflict them with a severe punishment. Likewise, Allah, he states, commanding the Prophet Muhammad, may Allah's lofty commendations and peace be upon him, to say to the people, Qul innama ana basharun mithlukum. Say, a verbal command given, being given to the Prophet from Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Say, I am only a man. I am only a human being like you are. Like you are. Like the people that he was sent to. You ilayya annama ilahukum ilahum wahidun. And it has been revealed to me that your deity is only one deity. Your deity is only one deity. So the worshiping of a deity that is three in one, that is not what the Muslims worship. The Muslims, the Muslims worship a deity that is one, unique, not having any partner whatsoever in any of his qualities or attributes. Not having a partner in lordship, not having a partner that is meriting or deserving worship like he is, not in any aspect. 
Then you have some Christians that worship a deity that they refer to as the Father. However, the, a, a father is a progenitor or a parent. A parent that does the action of procreating. It refers to one that procreates and fathers offsprings or children. And um, the, the term father or the father, in a sense in which they're using it, refers to fatherhood or the state of being a father. And this is indicated by them making statements like his only begotten son. A begotten son is something that is uh, to beget is to procreate through sexual or to reproduce through sexual procreation. For the Muslims, again, this falls into one of two categories. One, either is a figment of their imagination, something that they made up for themselves that, have, that they have deified, or two, they're referring to the Lord of all that exists, the one that sent Noah, the one that sent Abraham, the one that sent Isaac and Jacob and Ishmael and Job and Jonah and Aaron and Moses and David and Solomon, all the way down to Jesus, the son of Mary, and the last prophet and messenger, Muhammad, may Allah's lofty commendations and prayer and peace be upon all of them. If this is the one that's being referred to, then this is to attribute to him a tremendous lie. This is a tremendous lie. As the Most High, he teaches us in the Quran, uh, after uh, mentioning the sending down of the book of the Quran to the Prophet Muhammad and mentioning some of the reasons why, he then states, He states, so that he may warn, he being Muhammad, may warn those that say that Allah has taken a son. There is not with them, as it relates to this subject, any knowledge. There is neither with them, those that currently say this, any knowledge nor any knowledge with the, their forefathers. This is a tremendous statement that they make, that they utter with their tongues or from their, or from their mouths. In yaquluna illa kadiba. And they only state a lie. They only state a lie. So the deity that the Muslims worship is not a deity that is a progenitor. He is not a deity that procreates, that reproduces through sexual procreation. He does not have a son that is begotten. Now, and if you have some Christian denominations that are in accordance with the following verses that I'm about to quote, then yes, we would, uh, undoubtedly we do worship the same deity. Allah, he states, Kul huwallahu ahad. Say, commanding the Prophet Muhammad once again, uh, may Allah's commendations and peace be upon him, commanding him once again to say to the people, He is Allah, the one truly unique. The one who was truly unique in all aspects, in actions that he put he puts forth, in names and attributes, in qualities and attributes, he is unique. There is nothing whatsoever that is remotely similar to him and or like him. He he is alone. Allah who somad. Allah, He who is self-sufficient and or self-sustaining, meaning He is one that is truly independent. He does not rely on anyone or anything or any aspect of His creation. But it is He to whom which the creation stands in dire need of and depend upon and rely upon. As for example, uh, Allah has created oxygen 
that man cannot do without. This is an aspect of his creation that man depends upon. Whereas Allah is not dependent upon any aspect of his creation. He doesn't need oxygen in order to sustain, sustain his, himself. He doesn't need any aspect of his creation in order to, his, to, to sustain himself. He doesn't need food and drink or other than that. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He is he does not beget, nor was he begotten. He does not beget. He does not procreate. He does not reproduce. He doesn't have an offspring. He is the one that creates, meaning he brings something into existence that was non-existent. Without any type of blueprint without any type of likeness of that thing beforehand beforehand so he does not beget this is an action that is not befitting for him nor was he begotten as he is the one that is eternal and everlasting uh, he was not born nor will he die and there is nothing within this creation that is equal and or comparable to him. There's nothing in his creation that is equal and or comparable to him. And this is from, there's no aspect as it relates to Allah, the Most High, regardless if this is actions, qualities or attributes. There's no possibility of anything in his creation being compared to him or being equal to him. For this reason, you can't start to draw an image in your head and say, this is Allah. Why, this is how Allah looks. Why? Because there is nothing within the aspects of this creation that you can give comparison to, to in order to substantiate that claim. And anything that we imagine, it is only based off what we uh, liken or Im imitate as it relates to something of this creation. And this is impossible as it relates to the creator of everything. So if you find Christians making this statement, then yes, undoubtedly, we definitely worship the same deity. As for those other statements that were previously mentioned, then again, it either falls into one of two categories, either figments of their imaginations and or something that they have made up for themselves, that they have deified, but it doesn't really exist. Or two, they are referring to the creator of the heavens and the earth, but they have attributed to the creator of the heavens and the earth a tremendous lie that is not accepted by the Muslims, and Allah knows best. No.